and welcome back to my channel. All right, what do I have on my face right now? Yes, you must be thinking, what is this? It is Gen C. If you guys want to know what I think about the product and how I got on with it, then please keep on watching. Okay, guys, so... Oh, I got a few collections here. Gen C. I will be using these products. Um, I will test them out for you. So let's see how they go. Um, first one I have here is the metallic liquid eyeshadow liquid. Uh, we got metallic and mattes. So we got three metallic, no, two metallic and no, three metallic, three metallic and two mattes. And then I have the Gen C lip pick me up lip so we got four matte and one lip gloss so let's test these out first one this is what they actually the packaging look like this is the metallic lip one i presume this is going to be the same one when it comes to the matte one so it says on the bottom if it's metallic or matte I've taken them off their packaging. You can actually tell which one is metallic and which one is actually matte. And then you got their names at the bottom and descriptions as well. So that's what the shadows look like. And these are the lipsticks. Same concept again. You got the colors and whatnot. And then this is the packaging for the lip gloss. All right, let's get to it. I know we're very excited. As you can notice, I already got my face ready, but I haven't got any shadows or lipstick on. So yeah, <laughs> let me squat, squatch. Let me swatch these for you guys. I'll swatch all of them for you so you can see. Okay, so these are the color shades right here from matte to metallics. They are very liquidy. I've never worked with this kind of formula before. So this will be very, very interesting to try. So let's, let's do, they're still wet, so let's watch it down. Oh, interesting. Let's do the lipstick swatches now. This is what they look like, very standard. These are the four lipsticks. I really like this color right here. And now let's try the lip gloss. It is clear in color. And that's the lip gloss. <laughs> Before we move on to actually trying the makeup on, let me talk a little bit about Gen C. This is not a promo video. It, it is not a sponsored one either. I'm just honestly, they gifted me this and I want to say thank you guys, but this is my honest review as well. So let's see. Gen C, always. Clean, high performance color, vegan and cruelty free. Sustainable recyclable packaging. So that's the general information about Gen C. We also have here that when they say welcome to Gen C family. I rather have you guys read it because I don't like reading in front of people. <laughs> and where you can find them is right here. I will also put the description down below for you guys to have a look at. Okay, so let's begin. So they've given me these two right here. I'm gonna try this one first. This is the brief color. And I will be putting it, I need a mirror. Let's put it here. This will be my base color. Transition. I need a clean brush. This is very exciting, guys. I've never actually played with a liquid, um, liquid formula eyeshadow before. I don't know what to make of it. Uh, obviously my foundation has come off, but I don't even know if it's there. Should we try again? The color is definitely there. Let's try putting it a little bit more. I mean, I've worked with gel and stuff, but never liquid, so. I honestly don't know what to expect. Do you work this with a brush or a finger? I don't know. It doesn't dry powder either, so... Uh, blending is not working. I can see that for sure. And it's a bit patchy. See that? It's patching right here. I don't know how I feel about this one. 
Okay, let's try finger. And I'm gonna put a little bit on because I don't feel like... Honestly, it's not coming out to a good start here. I don't see the point of a liquid eyeshadow because right now with my finger, I've just dabbed it on here and it's all... It's come off basically. It's not looking good. It is not looking good. Do I wet my brush? I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, let's try. Oh, I really want to talk good about the brand, but I really don't know what to say because I'm trying with the brush, the same brush one more time. Like it's not moving upwards either. You see, it's still stuck here. So there's no, no point of blending. Uh, let's try the browner one now. I'm gonna use a different brush as well. So this one is the color plush. I'm gonna do like a shadow, like a dark shadow on the side. I wanna make it have some, some depth, some color, you know? Fine. Brush it around. Oh God. It's feeling like really rough right now to um, brush this on and honestly guys, what is the point of this? It's not blendable. It sticks really quickly, I, which is good, I guess. However, it's not blending. It doesn't go into powder form whatsoever. It's not obviously it's not coming off. So, what is this? It takes your foundation off and it leaves whatever is left behind. I use my finger and it actually takes off whatever was there before. So, uh, what is the point? Do I dare try the metallic? For shits and giggles, less, why not? Uh, this is called First Light. Honestly, I think this would be good as a eyeliner at this point. Just put a little bit there. I thought I was saving it and having a chance with it, but with me just putting it right in the middle, can you see this? Right in the middle here. Can you see what the brush has been tapping? It's been moved. It's not blending as I expected from even being metallic. I was expecting it to blend. Guys, this is a hot mess. I don't like this. I am, okay guys, I am not a pro makeup artist. However, even a pro makeup artist will say, what the fuck? Like these, like what the fuck are these? I'm sorry, Gen C. I really wanted to work your product work, but this is not worth it. I am not even gonna try finishing my eye look. I'm just gonna take it off. Um, it's not worth it. Maybe as an eyeliner, because it dries very quickly. So maybe as an eyeliner, it would work. Let's try it. Let's let's try. Let me take my eyeliner brush. After millions of years, I finally found the brush. All right. So let's try. Okay. Let's try this reef, the beginning one. Okay. You see this? All right. I'm gonna try this. Honestly, I really didn't know what the point was, but okay, that was too much. Okay, let's try this as a eyeliner. Um, yeah, that didn't work out either, so it is too liquidy for that. That didn't work out. Okay, I, yeah, no, no. Let's just move on for the lipstick. Let me sort out the eyes. I'll come back with the lipstick swatch instead. But these, sorry girl, <clears throat> not for me. Okay, that was very hard taking off because it did not want to come off. So I'm going to give it another chance. I'm not going to give the mattes a chance. I'm going to just do the metallics because I think... I think they have potential, but let's just see. I'm gonna go for, again, Frost Light, as that's the one that's most um, eye-catching to me. And I'm just gonna put it all over instead. We're just gonna use it as a single shadow. There's no need to blend them together because clearly that did not work. And it was, oh my God, my brush feels rough from the ones that I've used for the liquid. Even when I was like, 
taking it off it was very stiff on the eye now you think i really hurt my eye because trying to take that off okay let's just let's just that's a bad negative review i'm so sorry but let's trust let's just use this as a single one so i'm going to take the doe fur because i was reading in the packaging it just says apply it with the doe fur while wet like while wet just like take a blending brush and blend them through so that's literally what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna leave that on there now. Take a blending brush and just blend this upwards. I'm gonna use tapping motions. Or you can also use your finger, they said. So it's all on the carton. I'm trying to buff out this harsh lines. Clung okay. Best use finger because it's working well with finger when you buff out with this metallic. For some reason, the brushes are not working well and it didn't work well with the um, matte. So I've never just used a metallic alone on my eye. So that's different. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that because it's coming off. It is coming off. Oh god, okay. I said don't do that and I'm still doing it. Putting it back on very gently from where I've taken it off. Again, gently moving around. <sighs> what is going on? It's coming off. This is second coach now. Alright, I am gonna take a brush one more time. I cannot leave it like this. I'm a freaking perfectionist. And it's not working. Okay. I'm gonna leave it till this. I'm gonna do the other eye, the same thing, so they can match and I don't look totally retarded. <laughs> My advice to the brand, what I think will be in the end. This will be good when you have a perfect cut crease so you don't have to blend if you don't wanna blend. Or maybe be good with other products on there, like to settle down, I guess. All right, let us swatch lipsticks. Actually, let me put my mascara on. I'll be right back. I've done this so far and it's not the best. I mean, for for an indie company, I, I think it's okay, but for me personally, I wouldn't get it. Okay, but let's let's move on. Let's let's have that towards the end of it all. So, let's try the lipsticks now. This is Rosie, shade 03. Okay, so this is Rosie. I quite like it. It's okay. It's dry. And not sticky, so that's fine. But I can feel it's quite dry for a matte lipstick. It's quite dry. So just bear that in mind. Now this is the shade Margaret. I have to, I find myself really rubbing my lips really hard for it to move the colors. However, I do like this color. I am feeling it a lot, especially with this look. It's good. Moving on, we have Selma. Ooh, Selma. Again, I'm rubbing really hard. But this color is quite nice. It reminds me of that orangey red, you know? nice at least the lipsticks are working last and not least it is the what's this irene irene i like irene it's a nice red it's a good red <laughs> it is oh god be careful lipstick in your teeth And I have huge teeth, so it's going to be a problem. <laughs> However, the red does stain your lip after taking it off. So, I mean, if you don't mind the staining, like me, I prefer it. So, then it's all good. Let's try the gloss now. The gloss is not bad. I actually do like the gloss. Um, I'm just... 
Mm, I do like the gloss. I'm so sorry. My color's already been stained by the lipstick. That's why it's like this. So yes, I'm going to leave the gloss. Now, let us talk what I think about the products. Okay, we are back now. Um, What do I think about the products? Personally, I do not rate this whatsoever. They are blotchy. They don't stick. They stick really well. However, they do not move. They don't go into powder form whatsoever. It just stays as it is. Surprisingly, the metallic only briefly, as you can see here, moves a little bit with the brush. However, if you use your finger again to double coat it, it will come off and it will move so don't have your hopes high if you know how to use these products by all means go get them use them try them feel them enjoy them but if you are like me and don't know how to use the liquid i'm gonna give you a bad review on this and i will say no it's not worth your money um but you know the shimmer for what i just did with it it's not bad. The only positive thing about it is that it sticks to you like crazy and it will not move. And the way I was taking it off, I don't think rain or shine, it's not going to come off <laughs> unless you really are scrubbing it down like I did. So yeah, um, it don't bleed, they don't crease, that's the positive note and it doesn't come off on your fingertips as well. So that's that. I wish they could use the same concept for the lipstick, but the lipstick bleeds and it was it's not kissy proof anyway. So yeah, I didn't need to know that these are not kissy proof. However, I do like the lipstick and the gloss by all means. It's a plain gloss, but I do like them and they actually work. I like the fact the lip stains because I want to have that natural red lips. <laughs> um, but yeah. I am so sorry, Jen C, that these did not work for me. However, these did. So, yes. This is my honest review, guys. Uh, I hope you do enjoy this video and you've taken something out of this and had some thoughts about these as well. These are new. This is a new brand, I presume. I've never heard them before. So, it's a new brand. And if you do want to think about it, well, here you go. There are other people out there who knows how to use this. I suggest you do your research before buying the brand before before buying the products so yeah thank you guys ever so much for tuning in and for those who are new to my channel hi welcome thank you for thank you for joining in if you do like this video and you like seeing me then go on down below click the subscribe button and don't forget to put that notification bell on so you'll be notified when my next video is live and for my OGs out there thank you ever so much for tuning in as always I hope you had an amazing holiday and welcome back <laughs> new year guys so yes thank you guys ever so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video bye